Hello all and welcome to this evening's beer review. It's, well, not really, it's late afternoon, early evening. It's about 5.05 in the afternoon and it's my Friday, which is uh, Wednesday, since I work Saturday to Wednesday. And as you can see, I got another chicken on my shoulder. Uh, this is Nugget and he poops far more copiously than Sally ever did. Um, he is quite the chunky Nugget here. Um, not as sociable as Sally though, as you can see. He doesn't like being on camera or being touched all that much, to tell the truth. But his feet are warm, are cold right now. As you can see, it's raining outside, so that's why he's inside. Um, at least until it's night, then he goes back into his covered cage. Out back there. And what are we reviewing tonight? Well, like I said, we're going to be mostly focusing on locally made beverages. And what we have here is my first review from Honolulu Beer Works. This is Koalo's Cream Ale, sort of their flagship, if you will. And it's listed as 5.0 by, you know, 5.0 ABV. Um, beer Advocate has 5.3. I'm not sure if they're just rounding. And let's read the label, shall we? Koalo's Cream Ale an extremely drinkable, light-bodied, crisp, refreshing ale. Now, Honolulu Beer Works has been around for about two or three years. <coughs> Excuse me. Honolulu Beer Works has been around for about two to three years, and they've just recently started canning. I haven't been down there yet um, because, well, I don't ever drink and drive, and being that that's town side, um, I've never really had the opportunity to go to any of the very various pubs in town because I live on the windward side and um, all my friends have left the state, uh, leaving me with nothing to do but make you know drink beer and make reviews about it and collect wild chickens off of my job site. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, this is like their uh, not really their flagship, but sort of like their standard that they would give to people who are new to craft beer in general. Now, as you know, cream ale is one of my favorite styles, um, even though most people think of it as basically um, what a macro, what what macro lagers are, this is sort of like the ale version of a macro lager. But I tend to like it. I tend to think it's actually, instead of saying that it's the, you know, um, ale version of your basic uh, mega brewery macro lager, it is, for me, more like the American version of, say, the Pilsner or the Kolsch, in that there is quite a bit of flavor, I find quite a bit of flavor in a cream ale, and mouthfeel as well. And so, without further ado, before this gets too warm, let's get to it, shall we? We're going to be pouring it into a Pilsner glass. Nice fizzy head, dark clear yellow, nicely carbonated. Smells of cereal grains and very floral hops. Overall, um, sweet, but not overwhelmingly so. Almost more like a, let's see here, it's a daylight. Yeah, very dark yellow, but clear dark yellow. Refreshing. Nice hot bite at the end, and mostly clears the palate except for a lingering grainy sweetness. Very little though. Not at all cloying, almost completely clean. Front to mids, 
nice carbonation bite. The very front, got to that sort of <clears throat> barley graininess, transitions into a nice, um, I wouldn't say old world style because there's not much, well, maybe let me go and see here. Yeah, not too much in the way of, not too much in the way of, um, spice there, but still good bitterness, kind of a floral effervescent note even in the mouth. Bitterness just lingers a little bit on the palate, nothing overwhelming. Great introduction um, to craft beers because this kind of comes across as, you know, what, what I like to say about cream ale is that it is beer flavored, you know, in that it's sort of like the macro lager style if you went and amped up the hopping, amped up the malts, you know, balanced it nicely. So it's just like a more intense beer flavor without any of the drawbacks of metallics. Um, some people might still find it a little bit too much sweet, but I find it, um, you know, well balanced. The style that is, it's not this particular beer. It's actually a little bit on the sweet side for a cream ale. Goes down easy, smooth. The one real big difference with a lager is um, the softness on the palate that is very reminiscent of Czech style Pilsners. When it comes to lagers, as opposed to more um, biting crispness to it. No real fruity notes. So, you know, it's kind of like ale only in name. Well, ale, it doesn't really have many ale-like taste notes. It's cold, you know, cold stored for a while. I wouldn't say lagered because lager refers to the... It's really hard when lager refers to keeping beer in a lower temp lower temperature, you know, um, as opposed to the yeast, whereas ale yeast versus lager yeast, but you know, cold stored, so that um, a lot of the ale tastes tasting notes are kind of drop out of you know fall out of the beer, and just leaving a very clean, um, nice beverage. No, and again, it's not complex, it's not meant to be complex, it's meant to be, you know, you take your friend who usually drinks Heineken down to Honolulu Beer Works and you say, hey, <clears throat> you know, he's not ready to go and drink an India Pale Ale that'll go and scorch his tongue with hot bitterness, he's not ready to go and drink a Saison with that weird, you know, Belgian yeast and whatnot. And he's not ready for a dark beer, because to him, dark beers are all heavy. So you give him this. This is perfect introduction into what craft beer should be. And I think that every craft brewer should have, you know, as part of their flagship line, something like this. Something that is relatable to, for lack of a better term, your common beer drinker. So, if you're in Hawaii, and you're looking for something that is a, you know, just a really good um, summer beer, cooling beer, not the kind of beer you want for this cold, wet, rainy weather here, um, definitely give Koala's Cream Ale a try from Honolulu Beer Works. And that's your beer review and bird for tonight. Yeah, you want to say good night, goodbye to the people. Okay. You know, you're too young to drink. Okay. Cheers.